Welcome to Moments with Marianne. You're going to notice that today is a special airing, and it's for a very special group of young men that came to my attention. We have four young men, it's been five altogether, that are included in this group called Ride for Freedom. They have no biking experience or formal training, yet they found a cause that is making them bike across the country in 50 days to raise money to fight against human trafficking. As these four young men journey across the United States, they're raising funds that will go directly to Agape International with the aim of stopping the cycle of exploitation by rescuing those that have been trafficked and offering them life-saving services. So today we have on the trail, Justin Rodriguez is here to talk to us about Ride for Freedom. So welcome to the show, Justin. Thank you very much for having me and our team. Um, this is a tremendous opportunity to uh, reach as many people as possible and, and share our journey and our mission. Well, I'm so glad we're going to spend this time together talking about Ride for Freedom. Are you guys on the road right now? Yes, we, uh, we were on the road for uh, the past hour, but one of our riders just got a flat tire, so we're repairing that right now. Oh, my goodness. Well, and I've got to ask, okay, so you guys are doing the Ride for Freedom. So what does that mean? Yeah, so uh, we are Ride for Freedom. Um, What that means is that we are riding our bicycles across the country from the coast of Oregon to the coast of New York um, in order to raise funds and awareness to fight human trafficking. Uh, We're partnered with Agape International Missions, and they're, um, they're their base where they're fighting this battle is in Cambodia. So uh, along this journey, we've been able to talk to many different people and, and share our story. Um, and in doing so, we've managed to uh, raise funds that go to Agape International Missions um, that allows them to uh, fight against human trafficking in Cambodia um, through various things such as uh, rehabilitation for those who have suffered and been rescued, as well as actual um, swatting, uh, swatting hotspots of human trafficking and, and um, saving men, women, and children from, uh, from their fate out there. I think most people would be, I mean, we hear about human trafficking in the U.S. and in other places, but just don't realize how prevalent it is. And when you talk about Cambodia, how did you guys become aware of the human trafficking that's happening there? Yes, yeah, uh, we've um, we've actually been going along um, the highways uh, across northern America, and and there are some truckers who have acknowledged that um, that it's an issue here, uh, even in America, and. And uh, internationally, uh, because it affects their industry so much. Um, but originally, starting this ride, um, our friend group we wanted to do something like this for a cause, for a mission. And uh, through lots of thought and prayer, we um, uh, we partnered with uh, Agape International Missions, uh, who uh, who were focusing in on human trafficking and. Um, some of our guys, especially uh, Anthony Kusich, who's a member of our team, he was just really passionate about the cause and wanting to make a difference for, for these people and have a lasting impact uh, in, in all these people's lives. We may, we may never meet these people, but knowing that we were a part of setting them free from, from bondage and, and being able to, um, to go on and live a normal life, these women – um, for for our efforts was just something we couldn't pass up, um, and just show people God's love through through our mission and sacrifice. Well, I applaud you gentlemen for doing that because I think it's such a a cause that's going to make such an impact for so many people's lives. And again, like you're saying, you probably never meet them, but mm-hmm. you know, that. That says a lot about um, you gentlemen that are doing this because here you're doing something for people you will probably never meet. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, we have a uh, we have a playlist that we listen to um, every morning and and after lunch every day. And one of the songs is "Ain't No Mountain High Enough" by Marvin Gaye. And sometimes whenever that comes on, we'll just be we'll be going along, and then we'll just be able to hit that extra gear. 
just thinking about like literal translations, like there's nothing, there's no mountain high enough that we can't climb on our bicycles. There's no valley low enough that we can't ride across on our bicycles to help uh, these men, women, and children. Um, and just, you know, it's just about making, making this place we live in a better place and, uh, and, and doing what's right and helping these people who, who otherwise would, would be lost and have no one to help them. Yeah, they, they really do need our help. Well, so why don't you talk about the team? Who do you have there with you? Yes, absolutely. I have, uh, I have here next to me, Tanner Ming. Um, he, uh, he was one of the guys who, who was really passionate about this from the very beginning. And then we have Anthony Kusich, who I mentioned earlier. Um, both of them are, are young men, uh, 19 and 20 respectively. And we also have Andre Polari, who's, uh, who's 20 as well. We all attend the, uh, the same church in California. That's how we know each other. We've um, grown up together and, uh, and just shared so many amazing experiences together. And uh, another reason for this trip is just the, uh, the bond that we'll be able to make um, within our own friend group. Uh, with Andre and Anthony, they've uh, learned so much about themselves and about all of us uh, on this trip. And it's really been um, been a blessing to to have such great men around me and and doing this together. I was uh, the I believe it was two days ago. It was a very difficult day. We were uh, going through very heavy headwinds, and I was just thinking to myself how there's no way that we would be able to finish this race finish this project if we didn't have each other. A uh, really great group of guys we have here. The road on, on treks like this can be really interesting. I mean, you guys have overcome. When we talk about just the trip itself, I mean, you guys get sunburned and chewed up by mosquitoes. And, I mean, when you have so many miles <laughs> of riding each day, it's got to be pretty brutal. Yeah, definitely. It's it's wild. So um, I actually came into this trip um, around the halfway mark because uh, another one of our friends, Garrett Ming, he uh, he got injured along the way and he wasn't able to finish. So the guys reached out to me and asked me to join in. So I hopped in um, and they were telling me stories about how the uh, the first two weeks they were going through Oregon mountains and, and the mountains in um, Idaho and uh, Wyoming desert and how they would, especially in the Oregon mountains, they would be climbing a mountain and the sun would be just completely blacked out by a cloud of mosquitoes just hovering over the mountain and attacking them. And all the offspray in the world couldn't, uh, couldn't save them from all the mosquito bites. So they're, uh, even even to this day, Anthony has marks all over the back of his knees from mosquitoes biting in there. It's uh, it's been it's been crazy. All the mountains climbed and uh, the headwinds make things so much more difficult. We're carrying uh, we're carrying maybe forty pounds each of of weight in um, in necessary materials like camping gear and a change of clothes. And um, we've also been riding through rainstorms and thunderstorms, uh, especially as we get closer to the east coast. Um, there's been a few rainstorms that we've had to ride through. Uh, the other day we were in Iowa, and we were we were supposed to be in Des Moines that day, but we were a day behind schedule, and we stopped for dinner, and we find out that there are tornadoes, 30 tornadoes all over eastern Des Moines. So it's been crazy, the conditions that we've uh, that we've been facing and, and riding through. I can only imagine. Well, at least it sounds like you guys haven't had any bears chasing you through Oregon. So that's good. Yeah, no bears. <laughs> no bear trait. No bears because they're kind of uh, prevalent there. Well, um, yes. gosh, you know, and it seems like you guys are just, you're kind of still on target because you're doing about 80 to 100 miles a day, right? Yes, today uh today we're going 90 miles. Um so we're we're getting closer to the end, but um we're we're on about an 80 mile average. Um we're going to take a rest day pretty soon here. Uh we need to be averaging 70 uh 75 around there to get to New York 
um, on our scheduled time. So we're shooting for it, but we're all so excited to get to the end that um, these these long days are almost welcome because we're just that much closer to New York. Yeah, you guys. There. How has the community been for you guys during this trip? Oh, it's been it's been wonderful. The people who we've who we've met and talked to. I mean, really, the only negative feedback we ever get is from a driver on the highway who's upset at slowing down because uh, because we don't have a shoulder to ride on. But otherwise, people have been extremely receptive and um, conversational with us. Um, whenever we tell people what we're doing and why we're doing it, there's always um, a positive look on their face or a look of shock as to why four young men would bike across the country. Um, but everybody has, everybody we've encountered has had open ears and open hearts. And, and that's been really, uh, really awesome. Uh, a huge blessing for us to, to share, share our story and, and get these, um, get these people aware of the issue that we're fighting for. Well, it sounds like you've had, you know, a lot of not just churches, but other people that have that put you guys up. So you're having at least a night on a bed or a shower or what have you. So it's uh, it's an easier, a little bit of an easier trip than I think what most people might think. Uh, yeah, we've been um, we've been incredibly blessed with um, some hotels uh, donating free rooms to us or or heavily discounted rooms to us and um, people back home. Uh, I know um, Andre's parents and Tanner's parents have both flown out and surprised us to visit us and they've taken care of our, our hotel and food for um, a few days. Um, but definitely, uh, definitely as we've gotten closer to the end into more populated areas, uh, we've been blessed with um, motels and, and people taking care of us. But earlier, <laughs> earlier on in the trip, um, they had to do some, uh, some rough camping in the desert right next to the highways and the interstates, but it's gotten better as we, as we've gotten further. Thank goodness. My goodness. Yeah. Cause I know a lot of this guys have traveled through or having just these, you know, insane heat waves. So I'm glad that you guys are safe making that trip. Let's talk about um, your a little bit. You guys are with Higher Vision, is that correct? Yes, Higher Vision Church in Santa Clarita, and they also have a campus in Santa Paula as well. Okay, and that's how you all know each other and came to this idea of, of doing this bike ride is through that church. Yeah, we all grew up in, in Higher Vision. The uh, the head pastor is uh, is uh, Tanner's dad, Pastor Jared Ming, and um, Higher Vision is just an incredible, incredible church. Um, it's it's grown to be the home of many believers in the Santa Clarita Valley, and uh, it's higher. The congregation has been incredibly supportive of us um, in this journey, giving everything from um, prayer to uh, to support for motel stays and, and financial support and giving to the cause as well. Um, and, and we've been, we've all been a part of the church for five or more years. And it's, it's been awesome to see the church grow into what it is now and just continue to grow as, as God blesses it, um, with, with an incredible pastoral team and, uh, and team of elders watching over the church and the congregation constantly praying for, for each other. It's been, it's been awesome. That is so cool to have that kind of thing. And so um, if I get this right, Anthony is the one who came up with this idea of uh, Agape International, right? Um, not not necessarily. Uh, we, uh, we originally had this idea of writing um, for a cause from a group of students at APU who uh, did something similar called Ride for Water. Um, and Azusa Pacific University, that's APU, uh, that's where Tanner goes, um, and so we were just thinking up ideas, and and uh, collectively, uh, all of us guys, um, we uh, we decided to uh, really focus in and, and choose a mission. Um, so it was definitely a, a, a collective decision, but everybody has um, has their own um, connections to it. Like Anthony uh, has heard some crazy stories and and seen some crazy things, so he's really um, really uh, attracted to, to the cause, attached to the cause, and 
Andre's grown to learn a lot about it and become passionate along with Tanner and myself and, and Garrett as well. Well, that makes perfect sense. I mean, you guys, I mean, my goodness, you've really picked a, a cause that is going to impact so many people, men, women, and children. And where can people go if they'd like to donate um, for Right for Freedom? Uh, definitely. Uh, we're, we're so thankful that, that we chose this cause. Um, if people want to donate, they can go to um, rideforfreedom.co, that's R-I-D-E-F-O-R-F-R-E-E-D-O-M, period, C-O. Every $1,000 that's donated funds a SWAT raid on a human trafficking hotspot um, done through Agape International Missions, and that can save 10 or more women at least. Um, so as of right now, we've been able to save and, and have at least six months of rehabilitation for over uh, 60, I believe, women, uh, women, men, and children, which has been incredible. Um, rideforfreedom.co. Our social media is that same handle, rideforfreedom.co, with links to our website, which has the donate button, which gets these funds to those who need it. Um, it's, it's a great opportunity, and, and we've been blessed to share and, and make an impact on all these people. Well, Justin, thanks to you and the rest of your team for doing what they're doing. My goodness, I think you guys are doing <laughs> such a phenomenal job raising money. And so we're going to go ahead and make sure the link is here so people can connect as well and also donate. And my goodness, what a, what a great job you guys are doing. Yes, thank you so much. That'd be fantastic. Uh, really, it's it's not about us. It's about those who who um, who were helping who who cannot give anything back. You know, so it's it's a uh, it's been a blessing and fantastic. And thank you so much for this opportunity to uh, share our story and our journey with you. And thank you for uh, for sharing the uh, the resources that that need to be shared to help these people. Uh, it's a, it's an honor. Well, we're going to be following you across the United States, and I know on your website people can do that as well and also get um, involved with your, with your trip. Either they can buy you guys lunch or see about um, hosting you for the night or getting their community more involved in donating for Right for Freedom. You can visit their website at rideforfreedom.co and also go visit their page on GoFundMe that's called Ride for Freedom. You can donate. Every little bit helps. And I personally have added to their cause and donated as well. Well, we're at the end of our time today. I would like to thank everyone for tuning in. You've been listening to Moments with Marianne. And remember... Make every moment count. In a single moment, your life can change. Moments with Marianne is a transformative hour that covers an endless array of topics with the best of the best. Her guests are leaders in their fields, ranging from inspirational authors, top industry leaders, and business and spiritual entrepreneurs. Each guest is gifted and a true visionary, a recognized leader in her own work. And while teaching others to develop, refocus, and grow, Marianne will bring the best guest and sometimes a special surprise. Don't miss this. You never know just which moment will change your life forever. Moments with Mary Ann airs every Thursday, Friday, and Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Mountain Time. Make sure to tune in and visit momentswithmarianne.com for more information.